Hello, in this video we're going to go over the solution to problem A4 from Putnam 1999. The question is asking us to find a double sum. Generally, if I want to find a double sum or a single sum, there are several strategies that I can employ in solving a problem like this. The first one is using geometric and arithmetic sums. Those are things that sometimes you can relate a double sum to products of two geometric sums and things of that source. The second method is using Taylor series. The next one is using telescoping sums. The next one is swapping summations. And the last one is polynomial factorizations. So I'm going to actually make a video on that. And when I do make that video about these five different methods of evaluating sums, I'll put the link on the upper right corner of the screen and you can watch that. But briefly, if you were to use the Taylor series, you would need to find some function that this sum is related to that Taylor series. Because of the complication in the denominator, n times 3 to the power of n plus m times 3 to the power of n, I do not see a way to relate this sum to a Taylor series. Telescoping sums might be an approach that could be helpful in this case, but I don't still see a way to write down the general term of the series as difference of two terms. Swapping summations seems to be reasonable since it's a double sum, so you might be able to swap the summations for that. And polynomial factorization doesn't seem to be helpful because that is typically done for products of finitely many terms. So let's get into the swapping summations. So when you swap the summations, basically there are two ways of doing that. Either you swap the summations directly or in this case, because of the symmetry between m and n, you could just swap the two variables m and n. So if you change the variables m to n and n to m, you're going to get the sum of n squared m divided by 3 to the power of n, parentheses m 3 to the power of n plus n 3 to the power of m. Adding these two, we get 2s equals, and then we're just going to add the inside of the sums. So we're going to get this expression. Now, what we notice is that in the denominator, n 3 to the power of m, m 3 to the power of n is the same as m 3 to the power of n plus n 3 to the power of m. So this is nice because I can easily take the common denominator. When I take the common denominator, I'm going to end up with 3 to the power of n plus m at the bottom, parentheses, m 3 to the power of n plus n 3 to the power of m. In the numerator, I'm going to get m squared n times 3 to the power of n plus n squared m times 3 to the power of m. What I do notice is that on top, I have a factor of mn. So if I factor mn on top, I will end up with m 3 to the power of n plus n 3 to the power of n. This is very nice because that cancels the ugly term m 3 to the power of n plus n 3 to the power of m. And we get a much simpler sum. So now, how do we evaluate this sum? Let's first write this down as a double sum of m from 1 to infinity, n from 1 to infinity, m n over 3 to the power of m plus n. In the inner sum, you can take out all of the terms with m outside, and that gives us the product of two sums, which means this whole thing is the same as the sum of n over 3 to the power of n, all squared. Now, I have a video in evaluation of this sum of n over 3 to the power of n. But briefly, I will actually go over the solution to that. So how do we evaluate this sum? There are a couple different ways of doing that. And if you are interested, I'm going to leave the link to that video on the upper right corner. And you can check that out for two different solutions to in evaluating this one. One of them works like this. Take this sum, multiply it by 3. You're going to end up with the sum of n over 3 to the power of n minus 1. Simplify that by replacing n by n plus 1 and breaking it up into two different sums. You get the sum of n over 3 to the power of n plus a geometric sum. The first one is the same as what we had, so that would be a. The second one is a geometric sum, which is 1 over 1 minus 1 third, so that is a plus 3 halves. So that what we get is 3a is a plus 3 halves. Simplifying, we get 2a equals 3 halves, which means a is 3 fourths. So now back to the original problem, we got 2s is equal to the square of this quantity. But this quantity is 9 over 16 because it's the square of 3 fourths. So that gives us the answer is 9 over 32. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, 
and comment below let me know if you have a different solution or if there are any other topics that you are interested in me making videos and I will see you in another video